Hey, what's going on, my fellow Sagittarius? Uh, Butch Tarot here. I'm gonna do your one week read. Uh, it is a general read. Um, so it will not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me privately, all my information is in the description box. Uh, if you want, you know, always feel free to comment down below. And uh, I'll be doing my weeklies. Coming up soon, I'll be doing a yearly spread for 2020. Um, today I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I see, I see that somebody, you have somebody patiently waiting. They, they're waiting, um, they're waiting for you. You know, I feel like they got their mind made up. They want you. There's no doubt in their mind. They want you. And they're willing to wait as long as it takes. Like with that three of wands, the seven of, the seven of pentacles. That's all about patience. Uh, they're patiently waiting. They made their decision up. They want you, and I don't feel like I don't feel like they're they're you know they they're pretty confident in what they want. You know, and I feel like I feel like you might be just kind of you might not know who this is because I see this as your you're kind of in your mind. Um, in your own head, kind of thinking about some things, maybe some things that aren't so positive, maybe thinking back to some negative, um, some things from your past. Um, we get some Virgo energy is there as well, but like, like I, I do see, you know, you are gonna come around, uh, start trusting your intuition, start seeing what what what's really important, start seeing how this past. And you thinking about that negative stuff, it's just affecting you. And it's not affecting you in a positive direction. Um, you know, starting to see things in a different light. And and just getting back to that Sagittarius that that you know and love. Um, that energy that's, that carefree energy, that charismatic energy that, you know, you're known for. Um... Like I said, I just feel like you're just stuck in that, that past mindset of just thinking about something from your past, something that you can't change, but it's almost like it, it, it's just in your mind. But I feel like, like I said, I feel like with the high priestess, I feel like your intuition is going to kick in here. Um, you're going to start seeing things in a different light. Start seeing all the opportunities you have in front of you instead of worrying about the opportunities that you lost or that you had missed out on. Um... Yeah, like I said, this person wants to give you, give to you. Um, this this person that's been waiting, they want to give to you. They've already, like I said, they want they want to give you. They they want to give to you. Um, they're patiently waiting. You know, and because they made their mind up, they want you. They're not. They're 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 being stubborn themselves. They got you on the brain, and they ain't letting it go. Um, you know, they just want to step in and take care of you. Got that knight in shining armor. That's what I like to say with the knight of swords. Like, they're very motivated to to show you a better side. You know, and I feel like that motivation is going to rub off. And you're going to be very, you know, you're going to start to see this person as somebody like, they're committed. You know, like the time that they've, the time that they've been taking to, to step back and from you know, whatever 
is going on in their life just to be patient for you. Um, they're all about you. You know, I feel like we got that, we got some Gemini energy there as well. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a deep connection. Once, once you move past, you know, these regrets and these negative thoughts that you've been having recently, um, once you get that out of your head with that hermit card, once you get that out of your head and you start losing your intuition again, I mean, the moon card, we got some Pisces energy there, but it's going to be like, you're going to start to see things in a different light. You're going to start to see the opportunities that you do have and stop worrying about the opportunities that you missed out on or, you know, things that you didn't do that you should have done or things that you didn't or that you did do that you shouldn't have done. You know, what have, should have, could is. I, I feel like, you know, that Sagittarius energy right now that's going around is it, just... It's it's all about that fire, um, you know. I've been I've been I, I've found myself caught up in it as well. Um, but yeah, like like I said, I feel like it's just a matter of you know moving on and not allowing the past to affect us anymore. Um, there's this new person. They you know this. There's somebody out there that thinks very highly of you. They want to they want to give you what you want with that six of pentacles they're patiently waiting to give you what they want with that seven of pentacles and the three uh, three of wands you know they're just waiting they're waiting for their, their chance to, to make that move um they want to step in that knight in shining armor come in and 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 change you know put some put some positivity back in into your life you know they want to bring it and like I said, they've already had their mind made up. Like, you know, I don't, I don't feel like there's any doubt in this person that they want to be with you. Um, and like I said, we got the lover's card. So I, I feel like meeting, you know, when this person comes forward, you're going to feel that connection with them as well. You know, I see you feeling that connection. I feel like it's going to be a strong connection. It's going to be hard to ignore. Um, like I said, with the Queen of Swords... I feel like you're going to be motivated, you know, and, and, and that motivation is going to help you not only in a relationship, but it's going to help you in, you know, that mindset of, you know, getting that stability back, getting that, getting back to where you, you, you're that, that fiery, fiery element, you know, that Sagittarius. Um, I know I'm a Sagittarius and we're all about that fire and, and we're, we're about bringing it. And I feel like, like, you know, just, just recently, I just feel like it's, you know, it's been a little bit of a, a rough road, like I said. Um, but I feel like that's going to change. Like I said, uh, taking some time to reflect, taking that time to step back, you know, I feel like you're, into, you're going to start, you know, you're going to start listening, you got to start listening to that intuition, but I feel like you will. Um, you start to see things in a new light, start, start looking at that positivity that we're that Sagittarius is known for started looking at that positive side of life and realizing that this person there is this person that wants to you know that thinks very highly of you they're very attracted um, physically and mentally attracted to you like there's no doubt in their mind they're willing to wait they want to give their time to you um, that knight in shining armor and like I said also the lover's card so you could be dealing with a Gemini I, we got some Pisces energy in there. Got some Virgo energy, um, but yeah, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like you're gonna take that leap of faith with that Fool card. Like this person is gonna make make you feel like you want to feel. This person is gonna make you feel like you're the shit because you are. This is how we're meant to feel. This is how people. Good people that come into our life, that good energy. This person's bringing a lot of good energy. Like I said, they have no doubts when it comes to you. I feel like when when they make themselves known, you're gonna you're gonna feel a deep connection with them as well. And I feel like the reason you're gonna feel a deep connection is because this person's got some good vibes. Like I, they got a lot of good energy surrounding them. And yeah, it, it's gonna it's gonna get you back to being who you are. Who you're meant to be um, feel feel how you are with that happy-go-lucky um, fiery 
flirtatious, like, you know, just like that, all that good feeling that it is to be a Sagittarius, you're going to get that back. Like I said, I feel like this is just a hiccup in the road that's been happening. And this new person, you know, will bring, will bring a lot of light into your life and, and light that darkness up. Um, so just listen to your intuition. You'll know who this person is pretty quickly. Um, and that's what I got for you, Sagittarius. So take care and happy birthday to all you Sagittarius out there. Those who have birthdays coming up and those who already have birthdays come past. Um, and thanks for watching.